Purple on his pistol. And what is going on, everybody? My name is Aldi OBJ here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a Black Ops 2 gameplay commentary. And before I get into the commentary, I just want to say um, the gameplay in the background is totally ham. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoy it. I think I get 111 kills, so 100 plus. Almost get a nuclear. I think I go on like a 23 gun streak. Um. As well as getting four or five K9 units, something like that I don't know. I know I got a lot of K9 units, so hopefully you guys enjoy this gameplay. Um, and the funny part about this gameplay is that I wasn't even actually that focused on the game because first off, I had a friend over. Um, friend was just uh, I had a friend over at my house. Uh, we were hanging out and we were talking a bunch, and I still managed to pull this off. It was pretty crazy. I was also playing with one friend. It wasn't He wasn't, like, running support or anything like that, so I still count it as basically basically solo, although I am playing with one person. Um, but, yeah, it's a really good gameplay. Hopefully you guys enjoy. I'm playing with, in this gameplay, I'm playing with this guy, my friend, Brazilian Beasts. Uh, he's a really, really good player. Um, really cool guy. De subscribe to his YouTube, definitely, uh, youtube.com backslash superchrisswag, so definitely sub to him, but anyways, yeah, I, I just really enjoyed this gameplay, what I'm gonna be talking about, though, is his, like, is how your focus is in Call of Duty, is because sometimes you do the best when you're not focused, as I showed in this game, this game. Um, I wasn't even really that that focused on the game. I was, you know, just talking with my friends, having a good time. And I somehow managed to pull this off. And that really, like, got to me. I think if you're not as focused... I don't know. Like, focus is obviously really, really good to be focused on the game. But if you're so, like, focused that you're tryharding and tryharding so, so much that every time you die you're just raging like crazy... Um, then obviously that's going to be hurting you. And look at this, I just go ham in the spawn right here. Um, but obviously, if you're getting too into the game, you'll eventually, you'll just start raging every single time you die. And that gets really, really frustrating if you're, you're, you're dying and then you're blaming all your deaths on lag and, um, stuff like that. And that's when you start to struggle and you start to do terribly. So I think it's good not to be so, like, concentrated that you'll be raging so much, but still be focused on the game and be able to, um, be able to, you know, just go ham, but not so much where you'll just get absolutely destroyed. Um, another thing I want to talk about is the Call of Duty Ghost stuff. Um, you guys, I, I, the, just the sub boxes have been spammed lately with all this Call of Duty ghost material. Um, it, I'm sure you guys have been watching uh, all the, the new Call of Duty news YouTubers like Ali and T. Martin and those guys. You probably have seen their Call of Duty ghost stuff. In my opinion, the game looks really cool, although to be honest, I'm, I'm actually bored of watching it because I've seen it so much gameplay just being spammed out. But it still, in my opinion, looks like a really cool game. I hope it's... I hope... All I'm really hoping for are good connections. Because, obviously, the game looks pretty cool. It should be really fun. But if the connections are bad, that's gonna probably, you know, either make or break the game. And as you can see I'm here, I'm on a 20... 21 gun streak, something like that. I think just 20, but... Um, I die a little bit later on, like, a 23 or 24. But... You know, as long as the connections are good, I think I'll be happy with it, because in Black Ops 2, the connections are, in my opinion, what made, what could have made the game a lot better if they just had better connections, because in Black Ops 2, as everybody knows, it is just so connection-based, but Infinity Wards do, in 40, Infinity Ward games do have normally really good connections, Modern Warfare 2 had pretty much perfect connection, it was really, really awesome. Uh, obviously, you can't get it perfect because no matter what, there always will be a little bit of lag. Just it all just depends on how much of it. Um, but Modern Warfare 2 is really good. Also, Modern Warfare 3 also had great connections. Um, so you know, Infinity Ward has shown us great connections in the past, as well as hopefully, I'm really hoping there will be a Moab sort of thing. I know there's the Chem Strike or the Odin Strike, but that people at first were calling it like the new Moab, but it really isn't. Um, it is, it's not, you're getting it in a care package. That's basically saying you get a Moab in your in a care package, which is kind of ridiculous. But it's not supposed to be like an actual Moab gun streak sort of thing. You just, on certain, on each, I think it's on each map. I think the chem strike 
is only on strike zone and then i remember on this other one the one with the gas station can't remember the name um it's not white out but it's the other one it's the one with the gas station which the destructible environment is all i can remember and on that one i think you get some sort of big satellite not entirely sure don't quote me on that but if you, you know, from the care package sort of thing, uh, from the field orders. So it's not an actual Moab because you can't, it's not a sort of gun streak sort of thing. Although it hasn't been confirmed, but hopefully there is a real, a real Moab sort of, sort of streak because I think that would just be the best thing ever. I think one of the reasons why a lot of the YouTubers that, a lot of the gameplay YouTubers for them, MW3 never died and that's when why they're getting bored of Black Ops 2 is because there was no Moab. There are nuclears, but nuclears just aren't the same thing at all. It's just a little metal that pops on, pops up on your screen with the Moab. Um, with the Moab, just, the, just the feeling of getting it. The whole enemy team knows you have, have the Moab. Once you call it in, your name appears up on the screen. It kills everybody on the team, stuff like that. It just made it a really fun thing to go for. So hopefully they have it. Although I heard that it's going to be like a 35 gun streak or something like that. I think 25 is good. 35 is a little high. I think most people won't be able to get it. Obviously, a lot of people still can't even get the um, the normal Moab. But even so, I think 25 is perfect. So hopefully they have that. I'm really looking forward to it, if so. But they did announce they're bringing back Specialist, which I think is going to be the... That's just... Specialist was absolutely amazing in MW3. It just made the game so much more fun. So hopefully they have Specialist in Call of Duty Ghosts. So I'm really looking forward to that. Well, actually, I know they, they announced they have Specialist, but I'm really, really looking forward to it. I'm super excited for it. should definitely be just so awesome because Specialist, for me, was like probably the most fun thing about MW3. Assault was fun, but the thing was, was that the Assault Streaks just weren't that good because they could be shot down so easily. Like, the Osprey Gunner, it was really good if you could if no one shot it down, but normally it just gets shot down, like, right away. Same with, like, the pave low and all that stuff, although it, it just depends on the lobby you're in, whether the air support is good or not. But I'm really, really happy that they're doing more ground-based streaks, that way everyone, it's, that way it's not like MW3 where everyone has a stinger on their class and they're just shooting down air support. Um, so I'm really... Yeah, I just think that will be great. More ground-based streaks means not everyone needs a specialized piece of equipment on their class. And because of that, people don't have to be specifically be picking that just to destroy streaks. Uh, because without a stinger, you can shoot down UAVs or in Black Ops suits like the FHJ or something like that. But... So I'm really looking forward to that. I, I just think every aspect of Ghost should be really, really good. The Maniac kill streak looks really, really fun. I'm definitely going to be using that when the game first comes out because it, it just looks awesome. And I know only Use Me Blade will be really happy about that. Um, but yeah, it, it just looks absolutely awesome. I'm really looking forward to Ghost. I'm, you know, I, I really think it could be the, the best COD. I know every year people say that, but hopefully it is. Um, as long as long as the connections are good, that's the biggest thing I want, really. Just the connections. If the connections are going to be the deciding factor, whether I really like the game or I don't. But anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this commentary um, and the gameplay in the background. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.